Most people don't realize it, but right now is the absolute best moment in history to start the 3D printing business. If you miss this window, you'll look back wishing you'd started today. Hear me out, because in this video I will explain why we're at the technology sweet spot, what tools make all the difference, and I'll show you actual proof that 3D printing businesses are thriving right now. We've got five points to cover, so let's dive in. Hey everyone, Yan Yan here. I started our 3D printing business more than three years ago and we just broke 10,000 sales on Etsy. We shipped over 20,000 orders in total, are on track to hit half a million this year. I want to show you how to do the same with the tools and trainings we provide through our school community. Desktop 3D printers have reached this incredible point where quality, reliability and price have hit a sweet spot. And we're not just talking about Bamboo Lab here. Prusa, Elego, Flashforge, Epherson, there are so many brands now producing professional level quality at hobby level prices. And yes, I'll be doing a full print farm printer comparison soon. So make sure you subscribe for that. Printers are ready. But here's what's even better. The customers are ready too. Since the rise of the new generation of 3D printers, print quality has increased significantly. This has led to massive acceptance from customers for 3D printed products. You can see this in the reviews across Etsy stores and from the increase in sales at local markets. What used to be seen as cheap plastic has now in many cases transformed into premium design products. So the printers are ready and the customers are ready too. The only missing piece is you, or rather your creativity paired with your skills. Add a little bit of hard work and dedication to the mix and you will be absolutely crushing it. You want proof? We'll have a look later at the store that was created just one year ago and went from zero to 5,000 sales. Point number two, automation has changed the game. A few years ago, scaling a print farm meant babysitting machines constantly, cleaning plates and staying up late restarting jobs. This left many small farms in the valley of despair. That's a spot where your products sell well, but you can't find time to design the next bestseller because you're drowning in fulfilling orders and restarting prints. And in the same time, there's not enough profit yet to hire someone to free up your time. But times have changed completely. Tools like our Farm Loop Automatic Printing System are giving you back the most important resource, your time. What used to take hours of manual work can now run automatically. This means lower production costs, higher output, and the ability to scale even if you are a solopreneur. Look at Samcraft, a well-known YouTuber in the 3D printing space. He automated his farm with our system and even joined our school community. Go follow him if you haven't yet. Point number three, tools that make selling easier. Speaking of automation, there are new software tools that help you stand out on Etsy. When we launched Moundloo and went from zero to 100 sales within one month, we had to manually adjust the stock levels every single day. Why? Because Etsy pushes listings that are low on stock. It creates urgency. But instead of doing it manually, there's now a tool for that. Which brings us to today's sponsor, SellerAssistant.io. Instead of adjusting stock numbers by hand every day, Seller Assistant does it automatically for you. This simple trick increases conversion rates and helps your store gain visibility. We've tested it in our stores and it really works. Link is in the description. So not only is producing easier, selling is easier than ever. Point number four, the market is crowded. Some people say you can't make more money anymore in today's crowded market. And it's partly true. Small 3D print businesses are flooding the marketplaces. But here's the thing. Most of them print the same stuff. They subscribe to the same designers and print identical products. These products become commodities. As soon as something becomes a commodity, it's a race to the bottom. Let me explain it with a simple example. Say you want to bake cookies and need some sugar. You can get it at any supermarket and it will be exactly the same everywhere. Which one do you choose? The cheapest or the most convenient one? Now imagine you're making cookies for your friend who recently got a new dog. You could use a standard cookie cutter in the shape of a dog or create a personalized cookie cutter using a photo of your friend's actual dog. Everyone can print the standard one. That's why it's just $2. But the personalized one that involves additional skills and tools. That's why you can sell it for a premium of $50. It's all about uniqueness and learning the right skills. That's exactly why we have a beginner and advanced CAD course in our school community, to teach you how to design unique products specifically for 3D printing. If you can't design your own product, you won't be able to succeed mid to long term in this market. Let me prove that to you in the next point. Point number five, 
proof this business model works. When we started three years ago, I honestly didn't know if this type of business could work long term. But three years later, we're still here, we've doubled revenue year over year, and we've seen many print farms grow alongside us. Let me introduce you to one specific store that I've had the pleasure of talking with. They're called Ugla Forge, and they started just at the end of last year. They've specialized in 3D printed Zen gardens. With just seven listings, they've hit 5,000 sales on Etsy alone and are growing strong. Why? They came up with an amazing product and leveraged their CAD skills to create more of it. Plus, they invested heavily in marketing to kickstart their journey. Marketing is a topic I will dive deep into in a future video, so subscribe and hit that like button. What I want to prove with this example is that this model works. It works as a side hustle, it works as a full-time income, and in many cases, it works as a full-time business with long-term success. At the end of this year, just like last year, I will share a full revenue breakdown of our stores so you can see exactly what a real print farm business looked like financially. But listen, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This path isn't easy. It's not for everyone. If it were easy, everyone would be doing it, right? Building a 3D printing business takes discipline, creativity, consistency, and the willingness to do hard things. As Graham Weaver said in his Stanford lecture, do hard things, do your thing, do it for decades, and write your story. If you have the willingness to do all of that, it's time to take action. It's now or never. Join us and start to write your own story, 3D Farmers.